Hey everyone, it's Rattle Spider. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm showing you two bugs in one. They're both extremely annoying. They make your renders look like garbage. And I'm gonna show you how to fix them, so let's do it. So, the first one you can straight away see is this bug on the grass. It's the alpha glitch. And basically on the grass, text on the grass texture, there is an alpha. And if we don't get rid of it, it will do this thing, unless we fix it in the settings, which you'll see in a second. The other bug is this black line thing, or black just bot here. That happens when there's too much alpha in line with the camera, and it all just is too much for the camera, and it starts blacking it out. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating with Resolve V6. Go by his Lightroom, it's really good. So to fix this problem, you are going to go to the render settings, go to options, and here we have ray depth, reflection depth, and, and here we have ray depth, ref, here we have ray depth, reflection depth. God, I can't, I can't, I can't see the word depth. I have tried this four times. What am I doing? So we have ray, reflection, and shadow depth. Ray depth is on 10, and these two are 1. So I'll show you what they do. Ray depth is the one that fixes the black spot issue. So if I show you, if I change this down to 1, there we go. And if we now render, you'll see what it does. So now, as you can see, instead of being alpha, it's all just black, which is a problem we had before. And you can see it all in the trees as well. So basically, how it works is if we have a one, it will basically reach one plane on here, which is a one texture, and it will cancel all the alpha and just turn it black. But if we have two, which I'll show you now, let's quickly change that. Now if we render, the first one is fine, except that one behind it is not looking very good and you can see the trees are looking ugly and everything so hopefully you understand this concept so whatever number is that's how many you can look through until it starts doing that glitch so what I normally have in or on is like 30 because I have a lot of maps where there's this constant grass and leaves everywhere which means I get this problem very commonly so if we could if we quickly render I can't talk, god. So if we quickly render now, you can see, wait for it. It does take a bit longer to render, but it's definitely worth it because you don't really want that glitch. So it's looking good so far, and as you can see, the problem is now gone. It's beautiful, I know. But we still have this alpha issue. We still need to fix that. And you can see it's even cancelling the shadow behind it, which is really annoying. So as you can see, the black issue is fixed. So to fix the alpha glitch, you're going to use shadow depth, and you should probably leave this the same as this one. So just get 30 and put it on both of them, because it'll be the same amount of blocks. So now if we render, ah, oh, for here I was rendering, and I realized that I accidentally did the reflection depth, which is the wrong one. So let's get rid of that real quick. So now you can see the slight difference of the grass behind the one right in front of us, because you can see there's now a shadow on it, which is much better. And it doesn't have the halo now, which is really good. And also a while ago, I did notice this issue with Resolve V6, that when I rendered the first time, it was kind of blurry compared to other Lightrooms. But I found the fix. Normally when you use Resolve V6, it will be in Gauss animation, which makes it blurry. I'm not actually sure why, but I'll show you now. You can already see it's blurry compared to the last one. If I quickly select this, you can just see that it's blurred. It's not really that much, but it bugs me. So I don't like it. So obviously to fix this, just set Gauss animation and change it to cubic still image. This should work for most Lightrooms if it does this. And I'm not really sure why this was already selected when you get the Lightroom, but it was, so there you go. So I definitely hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. That would be greatly appreciated. If you subscribe, you will see videos from me like animations, gameplays, intros, and tutorials. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. See ya, everyone.